Welcome to our Thursday's broadcast of the Gospel Truth. Today I'm continuing a series teaching on the old man is dead. This is the end. I'm nearing the end of my fourth week. Tomorrow will be the end of this teaching and the last time I offer these products. This is a little booklet that I wrote entitled, The Old Man is Dead, and the subtitle is, Goodbye and Good Riddance. And what this is actually talking about is our new identity in Christ. Sad to say, most Christians think that when they get saved, that their sins are forgiven so that if they died, they wouldn't go to hell. Hell, they'd go to heaven instead. But as far as change, they don't really see change in their life. They might see some improvement BUT THE TRUTH IS, IN THE SPIRITUAL REALM, YOU ARE COMPLETELY DIFFERENT. THAT OLD SINFUL NATURE THAT WAS ON THE INSIDE OF YOU IS COMPLETELY GONE, AND YOU ARE A BRAND NEW PERSON ON THE INSIDE. AND IF YOU EVER UNDERSTAND THAT, THEN, MAN, THE REST OF THE CHRISTIAN LIFE IS AS SIMPLE AS JUST RECOGNIZING THAT, NOPE, THAT'S NOT ME. WHEN SOMETHING NEGATIVE HAPPENS, THAT'S NOT ME. YOU KNOW, WHEN PEOPLE... I HAVE PEOPLE COME OUT AGAINST ME. I JUST HAD SOME THINGS HAPPEN WHERE I WAS TOLD THAT THEY PUT OUT AN AD IN THE PAPER AND TOLD PEOPLE WHAT A TERRIBLE PERSON I AM. ELECTIONS ARE COMING UP AND uh, THEY'RE TRYING TO GET PEOPLE TO VOTE AGAINST OUR Caris BIBLE COLLEGE. AND SO THEY PUT OUT AN AD AND DID SOME THINGS AND SOMEBODY TOLD ME ABOUT IT. I HADN'T SEEN IT, BUT THEY TOLD ME ABOUT IT. AND THEY WERE DOING IT KIND OF GINGERLY, LIKE, uh, YOU KNOW, I HOPE YOU AREN'T HURT OR OFFENDED BY THIS. WELL, I DON'T LIKE IT THAT PEOPLE SAY BAD THINGS AND LIE ABOUT ME AND SAY THINGS THAT AREN'T TRUE. IT DOESN'T BLESS ME. BUT YOU KNOW WHAT? I KNOW THAT THAT'S NOT WHO I AM. The, THE WAY THAT I FEEL WHEN I FEEL REJECTION, WHEN I FEEL CRITICISM, MY SPIRIT MAN ISN'T LIKE THAT. MY SPIRIT MAN IS ALWAYS BASKING IN THE PRESENCE OF THE LORD. YOU KNOW, IN GALATIANS CHAPTER 5, VERSE 22, IT SAYS, THE FRUIT OF THE SPIRIT IS LOVE, JOY, PEACE, LONG-SUFFERING, GENTLENESS, GOODNESS, FAITH, MEEKNESS, AND TEMPERANCE. THAT'S WHAT'S IN MY SPIRIT. THAT'S ALL THAT'S IN MY SPIRIT. THERE ISN'T FEAR. THERE ISN'T HURT. THERE ISN'T SADNESS. THERE ISN'T DEPRESSION. ANY OF THOSE THINGS. AND SO ANYTIME I FEEL ANY OF THOSE NEGATIVE EMOTIONS, AND I DON'T DENY THAT I DO FEEL THEM, BUT WHEN I FEEL THEM, I JUST SAY, THAT'S NOT ME. THAT'S NOT THE REAL ME. THAT'S THE RESIDUE. THAT'S WHAT'S LEFT OVER FROM MY OLD SINFUL NATURE AND THE WAY IT PROGRAMMED ME, BUT I'M A BRAND NEW PERSON, AND IN THE SPIRIT, I AM BASKING IN THE PRESENCE OF GOD. GOD LOVES ME, AND I JUST GO BACK TO WHO I AM IN CHRIST. I DON'T GO TO THE LORD CRYING AND SAYING, OH, GOD, THEY DON'T LOVE ME. WOULD YOU PLEASE DO SOMETHING? WOULD YOU GIVE ME A HUG? WOULD YOU DO SOMETHING? SEE, IF YOU'RE APPROACHING YOUR PROBLEMS THAT WAY, YOU ARE TRYING TO APPROACH GOD, WORSHIP HIM IN THE FLESH, NOT IN THE SPIRIT. IN YOUR SPIRIT, YOU'RE ALREADY COMPLETE. YOU'RE FULL OF LOVE, JOY, PEACE, AND ALL THOSE OTHER THINGS. SO THAT'S WHAT THIS WHOLE TEACHING IS ABOUT. THE OLD MAN IS DEAD. I'M NOT GOING TO LIVE LIKE I'M AN OLD MAN. I'M NOT GOING TO LIVE LIKE I AM JUST THIS PHYSICAL PART. THE REAL ME IS A SPIRITUAL BEING. IT SAYS IN JAMES CHAPTER 2, VERSE 26, IT SAYS, AS THE BODY WITHOUT THE SPIRIT IS DEAD, SO FAITH WITHOUT WORKS IS DEAD ALSO. SO THAT SHOWS YOU THAT WHEN THE SPIRIT LEAVES THE BODY, THAT'S WHAT CONSTITUTES DEATH. THE SPIRIT IS THE LIFE-GIVING PART. THE SPIRIT IS THE REAL YOU. BEFORE YOU GET BORN AGAIN, THIS IS THE REASON THAT REGARDLESS OF HOW GOOD YOU TRY TO BE, YOU CAN'T BE GOOD BECAUSE YOU'VE GOT A DEAD SPIRIT. YOU'VE GOT A SPIRIT THAT IS IN SIN, AND IT DOESN'T MATTER HOW MUCH YOU RESTRAIN IT AND POLISH IT ON THE OUTSIDE, YOU HAVE TO BE BORN AGAIN. YOU'VE GOT TO GET A NEW SPIRIT. BUT WHEN YOU DO GET BORN AGAIN, THEN REGARDLESS OF WHAT HAPPENS TO YOU IN THE NATURAL REALM AND REGARDLESS OF HOW YOU FEEL IN YOUR EMOTIONS IN THE SPIRIT, YOU ARE UNITED WITH GOD AND YOU ARE ABOVE ONLY AND NOT BENEATH, AND YOU JUST HAVE TO CHANGE THIS IDENTITY TO WHERE YOU START FINDING OUT WHO YOU ARE, WHAT YOU HAVE, AND YOU START LIVING OUT OF YOUR SPIRIT. THAT'S WHAT THIS TEACHING IS ALL ABOUT. SO IN ROMANS CHAPTER 8, WE'RE WINDING DOWN THIS TEACHING YESTERDAY, I ENDED IN ROMANS CHAPTER 8, VERSE 9. IT SAYS, BUT YOU ARE NOT IN THE FLESH, BUT IN THE SPIRIT, IF SO BE THAT THE SPIRIT OF GOD DWELL IN YOU. NOW, IF ANY MAN HAVE NOT THE SPIRIT OF CHRIST, HE IS NONE OF HIS. YOU KNOW, WHEN I GO TO TEACHING ON YOUR NEW MAN AND YOUR OLD MAN IS DEAD, you're, YOU'VE GOT A NEW NATURE, YOU'RE A BRAND NEW PERSON, PEOPLE OFTEN WILL REJECT THIS BECAUSE THEY GO LOOK IN THE MIRROR AND THEY DON'T LOOK DIFFERENT. THEY SEARCH THEIR MENTAL AND EMOTIONAL PART AND THEY DON'T FEEL DIFFERENT. 
AND SO PEOPLE OFTEN JUST LET WHAT THEY FEEL AND WHAT THEY SEE CONTROL THEM. THAT'S WHAT THE BIBLE HERE IS CALLING CARNAL. YOU'RE DOMINATED BY JUST YOUR FIVE SENSES. YOU CAN'T SEE INTO THE SPIRITUAL REALM. YOU CAN'T FEEL YOUR SPIRIT. AND SO A CARNAL PERSON, IT DOESN'T MATTER HOW MANY TIMES YOU TELL THEM THAT THEY'RE A BRAND NEW PERSON IN CHRIST AND THEY HAVE ALL OF THESE THINGS IN THEM, THEY JUST CAN'T RECEIVE IT BECAUSE THEY'RE CARNAL. THEY'RE, they're LIMITED. THEY'RE LOCKED IN TO JUST WHAT YOU CAN SEE, TASTE, HEAR, SMELL, AND FEEL. BUT THERE IS A WHOLE SPIRITUAL WORLD OUT THERE AND INSIDE OF YOU THAT IF YOU'RE BORN AGAIN, YOU'RE A BRAND NEW PERSON AND YOU'VE GOT TO LEARN THAT. AND SO IF uh, I'LL HAVE PEOPLE SAY, I JUST CAN'T SEE GOD IN MY LIFE. I've, I'VE DONE WHAT THE WORD SAYS, BUT I JUST CAN'T SEE IT. WELL, IF YOU DON'T BELIEVE THAT CHRIST IS IN YOU, THEN ACCORDING TO THIS VERSE, YOU AREN'T TRULY BORN AGAIN. IT SAYS, YOU ARE NOT IN THE FLESH, BUT IN THE SPIRIT, IF SO BE THAT THE SPIRIT OF GOD DWELL IN YOU. NOW, IF ANY MAN HAVE NOT THE SPIRIT OF CHRIST, HE IS NONE OF HIS. IF YOU, if you THINK, NO, I, can't, I DON'T HAVE GOD LIVING INSIDE OF ME, THEN YOU AREN'T BORN AGAIN. IF YOU ARE BORN AGAIN, YOU DO HAVE GOD LIVING INSIDE OF YOU. I DON'T CARE WHAT YOU FEEL LIKE. I TELL YOU, ONE OF THE SAD THINGS, THE THING THAT REALLY BOTHERS ME ABOUT OUR CURRENT GENERATION AND THE WAY THAT WE LIVE IS THAT PEOPLE JUST GO BY FEELINGS AND IT DOESN'T MATTER WHAT TRUTH IS. MAN, I COULD GIVE YOU A MILLION EXAMPLES OF THIS, BUT PEOPLE SAYING, WELL, TODAY I DON'T FEEL LIKE A MAN. I'M A WOMAN IN A MAN'S BODY. I DON'T CARE WHAT YOU FEEL LIKE. YOUR FEELINGS DON'T MATTER. I GET, WELL, THAT'S PROBABLY WRONG. THEY DO MATTER, BUT THEY ARE NOT THE DECIDING FACTOR. THE TRUTH IS, IF YOU HAVE TWO X CHROMOSOMES IN EVERY CELL IN YOUR BODY, THEN YOU'RE A FEMALE. IF YOU'VE GOT AN X AND A Y CHROMOSOME, THEN YOU'RE A MAN. AND I DON'T CARE WHAT YOU FEEL LIKE, YOU CAN'T CHANGE YOUR BIOLOGY. YOU COULD DIE AND THEY COULD DIG UP YOUR BONES A HUNDRED YEARS FROM NOW AND THEY COULD EXAMINE A BONE. THEY COULD EXAMINE YOUR TOE BONE AND FIND OUT IF YOU WERE A MALE OR A FEMALE BECAUSE EVERY CELL IN THAT BONE WOULD EITHER HAVE TWO X CHROMOSOMES OR AN X AND A Y CHROMOSOME. AND YET PEOPLE TODAY, WELL, I, I DON'T FEEL THIS. JUST PULL YOUR THUMB OUT OF YOUR MOUTH AND GROW UP. YOU'VE GOT TO START LEARNING THAT THERE ARE SOME FACTS AND IT DOESN'T MATTER HOW YOU FEEL, IT'S JUST THE WAY THAT IT IS. DID YOU KNOW YOU ARE NOT A BIRD? AND I DON'T CARE IF YOU FEEL LIKE A BIRD OR IF YOU IDENTIFY AS A BIRD. YOU CAN'T FLY. YOU CAN GET IN A PLANE THAT CAN FLY, BUT YOU CAN'T FLY. AND IT DOESN'T MATTER. THERE'S PEOPLE TODAY THAT ARE SAYING THAT THEY IDENTIFY AS A CAT. I ACTUALLY SAW A MAN WHO HAD HAD HIS FACE RECONSTRUCTION, RECONSTRUCTED SURGERY, AND HE HAD WHISKERS PLANTED AND HE HAD HIS FACE TATTOOED LIKE HE WAS A CAT. AND HE WAS DOING EVERYTHING HE COULD TO ACT LIKE A CAT. BUT I CAN GUARANTEE YOU HE'S NOT A CAT. I DON'T CARE WHAT HE FEELS LIKE, WHAT HE DOES. AND YOU CAN DO THE SAME THING WITH TRANSGENDER. YOU CAN CUT SOMETHING OFF. YOU CAN PUT SOMETHING IN. BUT YOU ARE WHAT GOD CREATED YOU TO BE, AND YOU JUST HAVE TO WISE UP AND COME TO THE REALITY OF WHO YOU ARE AND WHAT YOU HAVE. NOW, THAT'S ALL TALKING IN THE PHYSICAL REALM. BUT IN THE SPIRITUAL REALM, YOU'VE BEEN BORN AGAIN. IF YOU'VE MADE JESUS YOUR LORD, YOU'RE A BRAND NEW PERSON. THE OLD MAN IS DEAD, AND YOU ARE A BRAND NEW PERSON, AND YOU'VE GOT TO LEARN THAT, THAT CHRIST IS IN YOU, THE HOPE OF GLORY. COLOSSIANS CHAPTER 1, VERSE 27. AND IN ROMANS CHAPTER 8, AND IN VERSE 10, IT SAYS, AND IF CHRIST BE IN YOU, THE BODY IS DEAD BECAUSE OF SIN, BUT THE SPIRIT IS LIFE BECAUSE OF RIGHTEOUSNESS. THIS ISN'T SAYING THAT YOUR BODY IS PHYSICALLY DEAD LIKE YOU'RE IN A CORPSE. YOU DON'T HAVE LIFE. IT'S JUST SAYING THAT IT'S INCAPABLE OF LIVING THE CHRISTIAN LIFE. IT'S INCAPABLE OF TURNING THE OTHER CHEEK WHEN SOMEBODY SMITES YOU ON ONE CHEEK. IT'S INCAPABLE OF LOVING OTHER PEOPLE MORE THAN YOU LOVE YOURSELF. THAT IS NOT NORMAL. THAT'S NOT NATURAL. YOUR BODY IS INCAPABLE. IT'S DEAD TO LIVING UP TO THE STANDARDS OF WHAT GOD WANTS YOU TO BE. THAT'S WHY YOU HAVE TO BE BORN AGAIN. YOU DON'T JUST HAVE BEHAVIOR MODIFICATION WHERE YOU RESTRAIN YOUR ACTIONS. YOU'VE GOT TO BE CHANGED FROM THE INSIDE OUT, AND IT HAS TO BE CHRIST LIVING THROUGH YOU. SO THAT'S WHAT THIS IS TALKING ABOUT, THAT IF CHRIST IS IN YOU, YOUR BODY IS DEAD. IT'S INCAPABLE OF EVER uh, RELEASING THE LIFE THAT GOD HAS PURCHASED FOR YOU. YOU'VE GOT TO GET INTO THE SPIRIT AND THAT'S WHAT IT'S TALKING ABOUT. BUT IF YOU ARE IN THE SPIRIT, IT'S LIFE BECAUSE OF RIGHTEOUSNESS. VERSE 11, BUT IF THE SPIRIT OF HIM THAT RAISED UP JESUS FROM THE DEAD DWELL IN YOU, HE THAT RAISED UP CHRIST FROM THE DEAD SHALL ALSO QUICKEN 
YOUR MORTAL BODIES BY HIS SPIRIT THAT DWELLETH IN YOU. SO IN ROMANS CHAPTER 6, 7, AND NOW INTO CHAPTER 8, IT'S JUST BEEN SAYING THIS OVER AND OVER AND OVER AGAIN THAT YOU HAVE TO LIVE THROUGH CHRIST. YOU HAVE TO LET CHRIST LIVE THROUGH YOU. IT'S NOT YOU LIVING FOR HIM, BUT IT'S HIM LIVING THROUGH YOU. AGAIN, THAT'S TYPIFIED IN PAUL'S OWN LIFE IN uh, GALATIANS CHAPTER 2, VERSE 20, WHERE HE SAYS, I AM CRUCIFIED WITH CHRIST. NEVERTHELESS, I LIVE, YET NOT I, BUT CHRIST LIVETH IN ME. IN THE LIFE THAT I NOW LIVE IN THE FLESH, I LIVE BY THE FAITH OF THE SON OF GOD WHO LOVED ME AND GAVE HIMSELF FOR ME. THE VICTORY IN THE CHRISTIAN LIFE IS LETTING CHRIST LIVE THROUGH YOU. IT'S NOT YOU LIVING. YOU ARE DEAD TO YOURSELF. AND THIS HAS BEEN SAID OVER AND OVER AND OVER. I BET YOU I'VE SAID THIS ON EVERY PROGRAM FOR THE LAST FOUR WEEKS. BUT THIS VERSE SAYS THAT IF YOU ARE LETTING CHRIST LIVE THROUGH YOU, HE WILL QUICKEN YOUR MORTAL BODY. AND THE WORD QUICKEN MEANS TO MAKE ALIVE. AGAIN, THIS ISN'T SAYING THAT YOUR PHYSICAL BODY IS DEAD AT THIS MOMENT. IT'S COMING TO TIME WHERE IT WILL DIE. BUT RIGHT NOW, THIS IS JUST TALKING ABOUT THAT IT'S INCAPABLE OF WALKING IN HEALTH, WALKING IN PROSPERITY, WALKING IN JOY AND PEACE. IT'S INCAPABLE OF DOING THESE THINGS ON YOUR OWN. BUT IF YOU ARE IN CHRIST AND IF YOU ARE WALKING IN WHAT CHRIST CAN DO, IF YOU'RE LETTING HIM LIVE THROUGH YOU, HE WILL QUICKEN YOUR MORTAL BODY. HE WILL GIVE YOU PHYSICAL THINGS THAT YOU CAN'T DO. YOU KNOW, IT'S SIMILAR TO, I'VE, I've READ THINGS ABOUT PEOPLE THAT IN A CRISIS SITUATION, I READ ONE THING ABOUT A GUY THAT HIS ADRENALINE STARTED PUMPING AND THERE WAS SOMEBODY CAUGHT UNDER A CAR AND THIS ONE PERSON LITERALLY LIFTED A CAR UP. HE RECEIVED SUPERNATURAL STRENGTH AND LIFTED THE CAR UP SO THAT THAT PERSON COULD GET OUT FROM UNDER THERE. I'VE HAD THINGS HAPPEN IN MY LIFE WHERE BECAUSE I'M TRUSTING GOD, GOD HAS GIVEN ME SUPERNATURAL ABILITY TO COPE WITH HURT AND PAIN. AND I'VE HAD SOME REALLY TRAGIC THINGS. JAMIE AND I HAVE HAD SOME THINGS HAPPEN TO US. WE MADE A WORLDWIDE BROADCAST WHERE, where PAUL HARVEY GOT ON HIS WORLDWIDE BROADCAST AND HE SAID, THIS IS THE WORST THING THAT I'VE EVER HEARD. AND HE TALKED ABOUT WHAT HAPPENED TO US. AND DID YOU KNOW, I HAD SOME PEOPLE COME OUT AND SAY, WELL, YOU CAN'T TEACH IN SCHOOL TODAY. WE HEARD ABOUT WHAT HAPPENED. AND I SAID, I CAN TEACH IN SCHOOL. AND GOD GAVE ME SUPERNATURAL ABILITY TO JUST PUT THOSE EMOTIONS ASIDE. THAT'S NOT MY BORN AGAIN SELF. MY BORN AGAIN SELF IS SEALED. IT WASN'T HURT. IT WASN'T PAINED BY THE THINGS THAT HAPPENED TO ME. AND I WAS ABLE TO JUST PUT MY EMOTIONS ASIDE AND GO AHEAD AND DO WHAT I NEEDED TO DO. AND I'M NOT A PERFECT EXAMPLE, BUT I CAN TELL YOU TRUTHFULLY THAT GOD'S SPIRIT INSIDE OF ME HAS QUICKENED MY MORTAL BODY. IT'S QUICKENED MY SOULISH REALM TO WHERE I'VE BEEN ABLE TO DEAL WITH HURTS AND PAINS AND REJECTION AND PROBLEMS AND THINGS LIKE THIS THAT I COULD HAVE NEVER DEALT WITH ON MY OWN. THIS IS AVAILABLE TO EVERY ONE OF YOU WATCHING THIS IF YOU'RE BORN AGAIN. IF YOU AREN'T BORN AGAIN, IT'S AS SIMPLE AS RECEIVING THE SALVATION THAT JESUS OFFERED. AND WHEN THAT HAPPENS, YOU BECOME A BRAND NEW PERSON ON THE INSIDE. AND THIS NEW PERSON HAS SUPERNATURAL RAISING FROM THE DEAD POWER IN IT. AND YOU CAN DO THINGS THAT ARE BEYOND HUMAN ABILITY TO DO. THAT'S WHAT THIS IS TALKING ABOUT, THAT IF THE SPIRIT THAT RAISED CHRIST FROM THE DEAD DWELLS IN YOU, HE THAT RAISED UP CHRIST FROM THE DEAD SHALL ALSO QUICKEN YOUR MORTAL BODIES BY HIS SPIRIT THAT DWELLETH IN YOU. MAN, THIS IS AWESOME. WHO IN THE WORLD WOULD NOT WANT TO GO BEYOND YOUR OWN PHYSICAL ABILITY, YOUR OWN MENTAL ABILITY, ABOVE, above YOUR OWN CAPABILITIES AS FAR AS TALENTS AND THINGS? WHO WOULDN'T WANT TO HAVE GOD'S SUPERNATURAL POWER FLOWING THROUGH THEM? MAN, I DON'T UNDERSTAND WHY ANYBODY WOULDN'T ACCEPT THIS. BUT AGAIN, SAD TO SAY, THERE'S A LOT OF CHRISTIANS THAT PRAY AND RECEIVE SALVATION, AND THEY BELIEVE IT'S ONLY ON PAPER THAT THERE'S NO REAL CHANGE UNTIL THEY GET TO HEAVEN. AND WHEN THEY GET TO HEAVEN, THAT'S WHEN THEY'RE GOING TO START EXPERIENCING SALVATION. BUT IN YOUR SPIRIT, YOU'VE ALREADY RECEIVED SALVATION. IN YOUR SPIRIT, YOU'RE AS PURE AND HOLY AND RIGHTEOUS AS YOU'LL EVER BE. AND TO THE DEGREE THAT YOU RENEW YOUR MIND TO IT AND PUT YOUR IDENTITY IN WHO YOU ARE IN CHRIST, YOU CAN HAVE THAT SUPERNATURAL POWER THAT'S IN YOUR BORN-AGAIN SPIRIT COME OUT INTO YOUR PHYSICAL BODY AND INTO YOUR MIND AND INTO YOUR EMOTIONS. MAN, THAT'S AWESOME. THIS IS GOOD NEWS. THIS IS NEARLY TOO GOOD TO BE TRUE NEWS. IT'S NOT JUST A CHANGED LIFE. IT'S AN EXCHANGED LIFE. 
YOU NOW have God, HAVE GOD HIMSELF LIVING ON THE INSIDE OF YOU. AND IF YOU CAN UNDERSTAND THAT, THAT YOUR OLD MAN IS DEAD AND GONE AND YOU'RE A BRAND NEW PERSON, YOU CAN BEGIN TO START LIVING A SUPERNATURAL LIFE. I OFTEN SAY IT THIS WAY, IF YOUR LIFE ISN'T SUPERNATURAL, IT'S SUPERFICIAL. GOD INTENDED CHRISTIANS TO BE LIVING SUPERNATURALLY UNDER HIS POWER, WHERE HIS ANOINTING IS QUICKENING YOUR MORTAL BODY, YOUR MENTAL AND EMOTIONAL PART. AND THERE'S NOT VERY MANY CHRISTIANS THAT ARE ACTUALLY DRAWING ON THAT. IN THE NEXT VERSE, IT SAYS, THEREFORE, BRETHREN, WE ARE DEBTORS, NOT TO THE FLESH TO LIVE AFTER THE FLESH. FOR IF YOU LIVE AFTER THE FLESH, YOU SHALL DIE. BUT IF YOU THROUGH THE SPIRIT DO MORTIFY THE DEEDS OF THE BODY, YOU SHALL LIVE. YOU KNOW, THE WORD MORTIFY HERE MEANS TO PUT TO DEATH. AND AGAIN, THIS IS THE EXACT TERMINOLOGY THAT WE HAVE USED DOZENS OF TIMES IN ROMANS 6, 7, AND 8, ESPECIALLY IN ROMANS CHAPTER 7, WHERE IT SAYS THAT IN ME, THAT IS, IN MY FLESH, DWELLS NO GOOD THING. WHAT YOU'RE DOING, YOU ARE MORTIFYING THE FLESH. YOU ARE SITTING HERE AND SAYING, I DON'T CARE IF I'VE GOT MORE TALENTS, IF I'M A BETTER SPEAKER, IF I'M A BETTER RUNNER, IF I CAN DO SOMETHING BETTER THAN SOMEBODY ELSE, I AM NOT TRUSTING IN THIS FLESH. I AM LOOKING TO GOD AS BEING MY SOURCE. AND SO YOU MORTIFY, YOU PUT TO DEATH THIS SELF-CONFIDENCE, AND YOU START PUTTING YOUR CONFIDENCE IN THE LORD. YOU KNOW, SO MANY CHRISTIANS TODAY, EVEN IN CHURCHES, THEY WILL HAVE SELF-HELP GROUPS, AND THEY SAY, YOU'VE GOT TO FEEL GOOD ABOUT YOURSELF. PAUL DIDN'T FEEL GOOD ABOUT HIMSELF. HE SAID THAT IN ME, THAT IS, IN MY FLESH, DWELLS NO GOOD THING. HE ALSO SAID, I HAVE NO CONFIDENCE IN THE FLESH, IN PHILIPPIANS CHAPTER 3, VERSE 3. SO PAUL WOULDN'T SUBMIT, HE WOULDN'T BE A PART OF THESE SELF-HELP GROUPS WHERE YOU JUST GOT TO FEEL GOOD ABOUT YOURSELF. HE PUT TO DEATH, HE DENIED HIS FLESH. HE COUNTED ALL OF HIS GREAT ACCOMPLISHMENTS AS DUNG SO THAT HE COULD BE FOUND IN CHRIST, NOT WITH HIS RIGHTEOUSNESS PRODUCED BY HIS ABILITY, BUT SO THAT HE COULD BE FOUND IN CHRIST WITH HIS RIGHTEOUSNESS. SEE, THIS IS WHAT IT'S SAYING. YOU'VE GOT TO PUT TO DEATH THE DEEDS OF THIS BODY. THAT DOESN'T MEAN THAT YOU SIT THERE AND IF YOU'VE GOT A TALENT TO DRAW THAT YOU NEVER DRAW, BUT YOU JUST SAY, I'M NOT LEANING UPON MY OWN SELF. FATHER, I'M ASKING YOU TO SUPERNATURALLY EMPOWER ME, TO TAKE WHAT I'VE GOT AND AMPLIFY IT TO WHERE IT IS uh, LITERALLY YOU FLOWING THROUGH ME THAT ALLOWS ME TO DRAW, THAT ALLOWS ME TO WORK ON THINGS, THAT GIVES ME THESE TALENTS. YOU AREN'T DEPENDING ON JUST YOUR OWN MENTAL ABILITY, BUT YOU'RE DRAWING ON GOD TO QUICKEN YOU. You're DENYING THE FLESH, YOU'RE PUTTING TO DEATH, MORTIFYING THE FLESH SO THAT YOU COULD uh, LIVE. AND THEN IN VERSE 14, IT SAYS, FOR AS MANY AS ARE LED BY THE SPIRIT OF GOD, THEY ARE THE SONS OF GOD. MAN, IF YOU'RE BORN AGAIN, YOU ARE A SON OF GOD, BUT FOR YOU TO MANIFEST IT TO THE WORLD, RIGHT ON DOWN HERE, IT'LL TALK ABOUT THAT THE WHOLE CREATION IS WAITING FOR THE MANIFESTATION OF THE SONS OF GOD. IF YOU'RE TRULY BORN AGAIN, YOU ARE A SON OF GOD, AND YOU DO HAVE ALL OF THIS SUPERNATURAL POWER ON THE INSIDE OF YOU, BUT IT'S NOT ENOUGH TO JUST KEEP IT IN YOUR SPIRIT. IT SAYS THAT THE WHOLE ANIMAL CREATION IS GROANING AND WAITING FOR THE MANIFESTATION OF THE SONS OF GOD. THE WORD MANIFESTATION IS TALKING ABOUT A PHYSICAL DEMONSTRATION, SOME WAY OF GETTING IT OUT OF JUST THE SPIRITUAL REALM, AND IN THE PHYSICAL REALM, YOU START MANIFESTING THIS POWER. YOU KNOW, AGAIN, MY LIFE ISN'T A PERFECT EXAMPLE, BUT I AM MANIFESTING A POWER OF GOD IN MY LIFE THAT IS BEYOND ME. I SEE PEOPLE HEALED REGULARLY OF INCURABLE DISEASES. THERE'S PROBABLY SOME OF YOU WATCHING THIS THAT THINK, WELL, THAT'S WHAT YOU SAY, BUT IT'S NOT TRUE. WE'VE GOT DOCTOR'S REPORTS. YOU CAN GO TO MY WEBSITE, AWMI.NET, AND WE HAVE HEALING JOURNEYS THERE. AND WE'VE ACTUALLY GOT DOCTORS THAT HAVE VERIFIED THAT PEOPLE WHO WERE GOING TO BE DEAD, I MEAN WITHIN A DAY OR TWO OR A WEEK MAXIMUM, THEY WERE GIVEN UP TO DIE, AND THEY GET MIRACULOUSLY HEALED. WE'VE HAD PEOPLE RAISED FROM THE DEAD. BENJAMIN ESAU OVER IN SOUTH AFRICA. WE'VE HAD PEOPLE WITH uh, MULTIPLE SCLEROSIS, MERCY SANTOS IN FLORIDA, AND SHE WAS MIRACULOUSLY HEALED AND NOW RUNS AND HAS A HEALING MINISTRY. AND ON AND ON I COULD GO TALKING ABOUT THE MIRACLES, PEOPLE COMING OUT OF WHEELCHAIR, CANCERS BEING HEALED. AND WE GOT DOCTOR'S REPORTS THAT VERIFY IT FOR THOSE OF YOU WHO DON'T JUST BELIEVE THE WORD OF GOD, AND YOU CAN GO PROVE IT. AND I AM SEEING SUPERNATURAL POWER 
flow through me, not only in the physical realm, but in people being delivered and set free from emotional problems. We've seen financial miracles. Did you know in just nine and a half years, we built, uh, I think it was $130 million worth of buildings and property debt free in nine and a half years. We're now in a building process where we're building out our Karis Bible College. It's going to be a billion dollars to get the entire campus built out with all of the facilities and infrastructure, and we're doing it debt free. And I guarantee you that is beyond me. You know, the day I'm making these programs is my oldest son's 50th birthday. And after I get through here, I'm going to go and have uh, a meal with him. But I woke up this morning thinking about this, and I remember 50 years ago today, my wife and I were so poor that we, had, we couldn't stay in our rent house. We had to move in with Jamie's parents. And on the day that my oldest son was born, uh, I was coming from the hospital, going back to my in-law's house, and I ran out of gas. I didn't have any gas. And I just pulled into this service station and I didn't know what to do. I'm not saying this is what you should do. I'm not advocating this. I'm just telling you what happened with me. And I pulled in and I filled up my car. I figured it was easier to ask forgiveness than it was to ask permission. And I filled up that car and I didn't have a penny. And rather than steal the gas, I was going to go in and face the music and tell them what I did and just deal with whatever the consequences were. So I filled up my car, went in, and I was getting ready to tell the guy that I'm sorry, but I don't have any money. And I didn't know what was going to happen. And when I walked in, there was a guy in there who recognized me and he said, Andrew, what are you doing over here? Because I lived in a place that was about an hour and something away. And I said, well, I just had my son born today, my firstborn son, he was born today. And he said, oh, well, man, that's great. Let me buy this tank of gas for you. <laughs> and praise God, he paid for my gas. But I mean, that's how poor I was 50 years ago today. And now we have probably about 150 to $160 million worth of assets in land, property, uh, buildings and things like that, all debt free. And God is blessing me. I guarantee you that is not me. That is not natural. That is God. That's because I have recognize that I am a new person. My old man is dead. I'm a new person and I'm beginning to start dealing with life based on who I am in Christ. I'm letting Christ live through me and any good thing that's ever happened in my life, it's because of Christ living in me and you can let that same thing happen to you. I want to thank you for watching our YouTube channel and the programs that we have available. And I want to encourage you that you can get the materials that we've offered. Also, I'd like to encourage you to like our program and subscribe to what we're doing. We have a lot of material and I believe it'll be a real blessing to you. So thank you for being a part of it. God bless you.